Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda where I'm still at the hotel. And I think part of the reason I'm, I'm, I've already been getting lots of advice for things that I'm, that's not going to change for a long time simply because I played ahead so far. Um, but part of the reason I'm not like going really in depth into like the crafting and stuff is I only have a limited amount of time to play at night because I work during the day for a long time and I get really tired and I need to sleep for some, you know, some hours before I go back out and do hard work again. So that's part of the reason I don't, I don't want to get caught up in the crafting and the augments and stuff because I just don't want to worry about it. I just want to play the game. Um, but I did learn today that apparently if you take augments, if you destroy your gun, it gives like if you if you put an augment on a gun, you can destroy that gun, get the resources, get a bunch of get a bunch of resources back plus the augment intact. So I might stick an augment on. I'm not really sure how to do that, but I'm gonna try. I checked my email, right? Yeah. And we talked to Sam. Um, let's. Oh, Drac is good apparently. Uh, let's see. Bathroom. Who's in that bathroom? It'd be really funny to walk in on somebody. So that looks good to you? As if any of your meals passed the bucket test. Hmm. You lost me. Picture your favorite food. Now picture it in a bucket beside a bar. Would you still eat it? Do all humans try to ruin everything? Hmm. Or just you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie. Their bromance is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love it. Let's let's check the crew info board. It's been a while. Oh no. Okay, looks like we're good. Alright, let's chat with y'all. My reports from Ephra regarding Aksul are worrying. I don't understand how the Rokar manages to recruit so many. Uh, you don't know me either. I'll see Goodbye. you later, Stay strong and clear. I was tempted, Jal. I was tempted, but... I don't know. I don't know why some smuggler king got me. Tire. Useful, but also fun. Uh, Looking forward to it. right, let's do that, maybe. We'll talk later. Yeah, go. I know it. It seems like it won't take a long time. I just gotta get it done. Um, let's see. Right up. You doing all right? You doing all right? How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? Uh, I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Yep. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone. That being said, I think she could use. Thanks for the insight. I'll let you get. I'll be here if you need me. She does seem willing to tell me a lot for patient confidentiality. What? What? What did I. Did I just scan something? I think I still have a cookie come crumb trip. Oh! Are they going? I mean, they came from. Uh, the crumbs came from the kitchen. Alright, I won't worry about it. I'll just find it when I find it. Wait. Humane Trap Blueprint, how nice. Okay, bye. Um, yeah. I have to talk to Gil. I guess nobody's has really changed. I think I do need to talk to Kalo and Suvi. But, oh, and get no Gil too, because I talked to the other ones in the field.
Never mind. But it's a temptress for a second, which you know, my ship is a temptress, but. Oh, hey. No. Veteran needs to calm down. I need a romance just to get her to. Calm. Fine, you know what? Fine, let's just do it. I don't even care. What, what do we want to do? Okay. I heard today somebody told me on Twitter that they, they, there's not actually multiplayer. Yay. Wait, what? Oh, no. I don't want to actually play it. I have to actually play it? They expire? Wait, oh no, I don't have to go out. Mission trait, scary, remnant, poor weather conditions. Why do I need to know the mission traits or properties? Do I have people who won't be good with scary <laughs> remnant stuff? Uh, it's an easy one or not an easy one? Recover the artifact. Yeah, let's do that. Enemies everywhere! <laughs> Enemies everywhere! Oh man, the call sign from Mass Effect 1. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, oh, I could jump into it in multiplayer if I wanted to. Let's just send a strike team. Oh, um... I only have one? Well, oh, no then. So is that like super difficult, that little sign and the other ones? I don't know what the blue and the gray or the- it says, it says the colors tell you which ones are easier, but freaking I don't know. Oh, those are apex missions that are more difficult? As opposed to just regular one. Oh, our Apex ones is the ones that you could go and play, maybe. That'd be cool. Silent and deadly. Mm. This one expires the soonest. Sure. Go. Be free. Oh. Shoot. It's like recruit team to recruit a new strike team. They can earn positive traits if they succeed and negative ones if they fail. Oh, that's cool. I am pressing X. Oh, just normally. I can't. No? I pressing X does not work. Maybe I can't read them because they're on a mission. I'm, I don't know how many mission funds I have. Heroic! I think I sent my stealthy squad out on a stealthy mission, right? I think I did. Okay. Heroic. Plus 10 to effectiveness with we need a hero. Okay. That was useless. So, mission funds are what you can get from playing the game. Playing the other stuff. How do I put mods on? Or augments? How do I put augments on? I need to I need to rework my profile. I just need to sit down one day and like rework them. <sighs> well, 
where do I put my augments? Okay. I want to put, but didn't I make one? Ooh. Ooh. How do I use it? put freaking augmentations on them. Oh, see this is the thing, I get frustrated with this and I don't know how, I, I don't care and I wanna play the game. I don't wanna mess around with little finagly things. I just wanna go. Oh wow, I still love that, it's very cool. Let's talk with Jaw or no, uh, Suvi and Callow, and then we'll be off. Ryder, might I borrow your research room access? What for? Nothing much. Just hoping to research something in my spare time. Oh, would you care to help? Oh uh, yeah. I'll help if I can. Suvi, could you take the helm for a little while? Mmm. It's preliminary. But all that data we've got Shoot. Oh, should sweet. be for something. I'll be danged. Is that our drive core? I want to research new systems, sensors, shields, EMP defenses to help any ship tackle the scourge. Okay. I'm using Lucille's old blueprints as a baseline. I can read them from memory, but if you and Sam can help, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah. I'm no starship expert, but Sam and I can pitch in. Sure. So if you want someone who really knows ships, oh. there's always Gil. Nice. I know. We barely speak these days. I thought it was best. And yet, Gil's oh. redesigns are what got me thinking. Funny. Most Solarians leap at innovation. If he's got ideas and you know the specs, that's a powerful combination. Run with it. We forget all our technology didn't just appear. Someone invented it. Someone cared. That matters. But so does inventing new things to care about. Yes, Kalo, yes! Then. <laughs> Any advice on how to ask him? Um... A little yeah. honesty and humility will go a long way. Gil, may I... Get a moment of your time. Come on, Gil. Come on, Gil. Ooh. Well, now your precious ship is running just like you wanted. I'm researching new systems to handle the scourge. I could use your. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Opinion, please. <laughs> Sticking to the old school. <laughs> I don't have to. No sense reinventing the wheel, though you'd need better secondaries in place. Yay! Ooh, yay! The bros! That Gil, Gil went, that was quick. Gil, what? No, it's not. Oh, I did get another one, didn't I? Um, oh wait, they're probably not, probably best, dang it. <laughs> Hostage situation, remnant scary, key intelligence component, high risk, high reward, cat, key intelligence, enemies everywhere, no room for error, outlaw. We need a hero. I have I have a hero. Wait, what? 5% success? Holy crap. Really? Why? I have the, that's what they are. They're, uh, they're my, I need a hero people. Why are they so high level? Uh, let's see. 5%, what is wrong with you people? 70% chance? Okay. 18. 
18. All right, well, let's try the 70% chance. Even though that one is key intelligence component, remnant, and scary, and they're just heroic. I don't want Sam yelling at me, though. I don't care. Every time I walk in. And somebody did bring up today as well, and I had completely forgotten, but... I, I knew this, somebody had told me before, but I had completely forgotten. Sam is actually voice acted by a woman. It's the woman who was the voice actress for Calpurnia in Dragon Age Inquisition. It's technically, Sam, it's technically Sam's voice is a woman, although I don't know if Sam gender identifies because Sam's an AI and, you know, who cares? You know, I mean, like, who, like why would an AI care about that? Like, it seems like they'd be beyond a gender binary type thing, you know? But... At the same time, I don't really know if I want to call Sam he or she or I don't want to call it it, you know, uh, so. I'll just do whatever I feel like at the time. I can still flirt. I didn't know if I'd still be able to flirt. I wasn't sure if I'd still be able to flirt. Maybe I can cause some, some rifts. Cause, wow, look at the planet below my feet. This was rad. Let's see. Oh, we still wow. I thought we were. I thought we had less, but hmm. Uh, as much as I want to stay on Kadar because I'm a pathetic sap, we're gonna go out. Fine. Starship wreckage. That is intriguing. Now Suvi can stop yelling at me. Got bit by something today. I don't know what. Holy crap, look at that. It's amazing. Yikes. The paltry remains of a cat dropship. Whoever destroyed it thoroughly scavenged its parts, but perhaps it was something they missed. Or it was destroyed and then somebody came by and scavenged it. Oh, wow. Wow, lots of stuff. Holy crap. Let's go back to Eos. People have been wanting me to go back to Eos. Like, well, like, you know, people in the game. Eos. I legitimately still can't keep track of what I want to do. I mean, now that I've got an outpost on Kadar, maybe I can open up another planet, but... And I really gotta work on my profiles. Like... What? Huh? Anomaly? Already scanned it. I think I need to work on my profiles because then combat will be easier. It'll be more, I don't know, less frustrating. I'll be able to, oh, oh. What? Uh, yeah. This satellite tracks initi initiative shipments and allocates emergency drops without authorization. No ZK tracker satellites were authorized or deployed by the Nexus. Okay. Well, let me get to EOS. The 
there's just so many things to do, I have a hard time prioritizing. I should maybe get first murder done. Um, I don't really feel like changing anything. Wait, what? What is that? Mm. 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 Mm hmm. Mm hmm. PB and Drac. PB and Drac. PB and Drac. Oh, what am I doing? Let's bring. Dial or Vetra? Hmm. Jaw. I kind of like that we don't have to fit them out, you know. The green. Like every time we go out, and all the weapons I pick up, I don't have to go through Path is calm. and like micromanage their armor and weapons and everything too. Like myself is trouble enough. Holy crap! The plants are blue now. That's new. Pretty sure that's new. Oh, look at that. Oh, shoot. Cutscene. Back where we really started. What's new on our first home? The cats still maintain a presence. Skirmishes are frequent, and travel requires caution. Oh, wow. A big struggle. They never learn. What else? The atmosphere continues to clear, but radioactive hazards pool in some areas. Study is ongoing. Wow, this area is massive. And remnants remain active on the surface but also as detected by seismic readings. Point of contact for all this? Your people, Pathfinder. Prodromos is expanding, with all the trials and discovery that building an outpost represents. Grounded in research. All data about newly accessible units yeah. is from their work. Woo. Well, let's make sure it gets the attention it deserves. Woo! This is exciting. Let's see. Where? Um. Over here? No. Over here? Over here? I don't know. What's that? Hidden cash? Oh, shoot. I, get, I do get hidden caches occasionally. Can't go over there. I can't fast travel. Um. Oh, hidden cache over here. Whoa, there's hidden caches everywhere. Jeez. It's one of my perks, I guess, but. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Uh. Ah. Uh. Let's look at the terminal. Okay, I think that was fine. Wait a minute. 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 Nope. Oh, Magres. I thought I said mages. I was like, eh. <laughs> What's beeping? I don't know what's beeping. Uh, but I need to talk to some people, apparently. Hello, researcher. Let's see. Uh, I guess we can jog. Oh, hey, you need something? Not you. Oh. I suppose the sprint thing does make things getting around a little bit faster. Okay, really quick. Uh, since I recorded this a long time ago, the original recording is from quite a while ago. This is where we run into the original Hanley Abrams dialogue 
that a lot of people found offensive. Apparently, I didn't read a lot about it, but some people found offensive, and especially trans people who have every right to police how they are represented. And so I decided I decided for now to leave this dialogue in just so people could see it. And then I'm going to include the new one where they don't include it. Apparently, Bioware changed it somehow, but as far as I can tell, they've just removed it entirely. Um, which I kind of think is unfair because it's like nice to know that, you know, it's like this, you know, this is a trans person, like this is really, you know, this is cool, you know, like, you know, it's more diversity in games and woohoo for that, like that's what we need and that's what makes things interesting. But I don't know if subsequent dialogue will change regarding Hanley Abrams. If anybody, and I mean this seriously, finds this offensive and doesn't want it in the video, um, I will remove it if you find it if you find that it's in like you can you can skip it But or you know, I will remove it if you ask me to I have no problems with that I'll just re I'll just take it out and re-upload the video um, But I decided to include it for now just so people could see the difference um, But yes, so again, if you need me to remove it. Just let me know and I will do so. Thank you. Oh What I do? Just, ah, Pathfinder I hear you're to thank for a physics-defying atmosphere processor. That's me. I'm Ryder. Hanley Abrams, director of scientific research on EOS, and writer of papers that start what the hell weather. <laughs> but I like her. New galaxy, new world, and a really new start. Gotta keep up. How can I help you? excited for you. I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh, like seriously, like my eyes are tearing up. I'm so glad. Oh, so glad. It came, like you, you more than most people are starting completely fresh. How exciting, how exciting. What kind of research love are you working on? I love on? it. Just to Ramirez asked me to help out with vaccines, so I'm growing bacteria. The glamorous life of a scientist. Just to just, I love that just casual trans person here. Like, I love that they didn't, like, you could maybe headcanon that anybody's a trans person, really, but it's just nice that they're here and it's just, like, whatever, you know? I like it. It's good. Activating that vault changed the planet. Anything to worry about? Looking at data from the other outposts, whatever these vaults are doing seems to be permanent and beneficial, so far. But the storms show no signs of returning, and I know who to contact for remnant tech support. I'll take it. Me? What do you make of Lieutenant Bradley? Determined as hell. And he has incredible faith in us to get this done. Who's Bradley? Bradley would carry this outpost on his back if he had to. And we'll make sure he never has to. I haven't talked to I've Bradley go. yet. Keep up the good work. You as well. But uh, apparently you have... Why do you have a... There. Did you feel that tremor? We've been tracking major seismic activity lately. You're so pretty. But I don't know what's causing it. Something strange is going on out there. An earthquake something? Or volcano something? I'm guessing a remnant something? That might help us. Eos I love how science we're speaking. We can't tap, but altering those tremors just right might crack the ground for irrigation. Our seismic survey hammers would be perfect. All I need is someone to place them. Um, please? <laughs> What's a seismic Anything survey Anything for you. Hammer? You're so cute. Fox built them. They punch like a dozen Krogan and cause vibrational changes underground. The hammers give good geophysics data, but honestly, they're just fine. I love you. You got it. Just tell me where to go. I've marked out the areas where the tremors seem centered. Trigger the hammers there. Just be careful. The tremors are getting worse. Shoot. Anything else before my, you go? My controller just vibrated. I've got to go. Keep up the good work. Okay, because I was like, why are you still... We, so, we, so we forgot to do the initial greetings with everybody. So I'm going to have to talk to a lot of them twice. I really do like this planet a lot. I think it's pretty nifty. Pretty cool looking. Hi. 
Don't, why is it so dark? Okay, it's so dark in here. Their space rails are real! They're real! Oh shoot, just in the- Oh, hello, an Angaran! Gasada sounds like a problem with them. Stubborn, you might say. But I'll be alone. I love you. Oh, you're a merchant? Cool, cool. Ow. Drama supplies report. Uh, shrinkage from our survey team. Supply drops has been running at 15%. If we had people to spare, I'd send them to investigate the actual site still. It's pissing me off. It's rough country. But I've been told to expect a 20% loss doesn't mean I accept it. <laughs> Oops. Uh, formal request for Darkette Tyrvian. Number 28, making the request again, Bradley, I know it's not your fault. I know she's supposed to be second wave, but I want a trail so that when all this comes down in a few years, we can get proper outraged about how long it took to reunite families, especially ones hurt during the site one two mess. You know, broken promise is a thing, right? Requesting the deployment of Darkhead Tirvin, exo study specialist. Reason she's an asset that will help viability, she's also my daughter. Oh, I see. Well, and yeah, if you wait too long, like, if you're waiting years to revive people, like, that messes up, like, like, your dad's, like, five years older than when you last saw him or something, like, your daughter is, like, five years older than when you, like, especially for a parent to kid, I would think, it's like, wait a second, like, you've grown up, you know, like, what happened? That would be in an interesting... Alright. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not the, that's probably the other one, but you know, it's all good. Biotics. <laughs> There's other outposts. I don't know why I couldn't choose. Look at these, look at these free beautiful trees. Oh, another, just, I'm getting quests from terminals. Apparently not a quest from a terminal? Okay. Maybe it's just marking a terminal? Supply officer. Well, you don't have a E on you. Hello, Kim Connor. Supplies, trade, procurement. Anything you need, I can provide. Though I hear you've got Vetra Nix keeping you. Yeah, I should have brought Vetra. You know Vetra? I worked with her on the Nexus in those days of chaos. But I need ground under my feet, and soon, hopefully, trade will flourish on Eos. You said you know Vetra. What's she really like? Ah, Vetra. You're lucky to have her. Few weathered the mutiny on the Nexus as gracefully. <sighs> the she is beautiful. To her to join them. She refused, yet many of them are still her contacts and allies. If Vetranix has advice for you, I'd listen. Okay. Is Eos trading with any new partners? Kadara Port. But finding trustworthy sources, there is a careful dance. Pirates don't trade, they take. I'm buying armor and munitions so they don't mistake Eos for a target. Ah, Does the nice. have everything it needs? Using trade to we kind of project an image. Materials almost as fast as I can source them. But that means we're growing. As long as I have toilet paper, there are a few complaints. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> so how did you end up here, Connor? I love it. Me? You're the Grand Explorer. I fill out requisition forms. Really? Everyone here has some kind of story. I left mine back home. Or... The... Still... Ask me another time. Okay, are See they you. in cry or cryo? Well, come back again. Well, nice to meet you, Kim. <gasps> Anybody else have anything to say? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, hi. 
<laughs> I love science. Hey, Pathfinder. I figured you might know how the militia's doing. Do they need people? I was oh. in the Alliance Reserves. With everything going on, I feel like I should go back to the Nexus and help. Uh, no, you definitely stay here. Every colonist is doing important work right now. Help on Eos. Okay. Thanks anyway. Good luck out there. I knew a Patel when I was in middle school and part of high school. We were pretty good friends. Who's Bradley and Fox? Like, the guy who's running it isn't... That's not Bradley, right? Like, the main guy. Where are we... Right, right, I can sprint. There he is. There's my dude. Oh, you are Bradley. That's fine, dude. Who's Fox? Um, did we ask him all these questions? I don't think we did. What's behind naming the outpost Prodromos? It means forerunner. Languages bore the shit out of me, but we voted. <laughs> That ownership is key to the initiative. That's how you convince a bunch of civilians to jump galaxies. As long as we meet our obligations to the Nexus, what we build and how we organize, we get to figure it out. Okay. Tell me about I love yourself. these trees. August Bradley. I knew it, I knew it. I keep the discipline, but not so much the doctrine. I join the initiative because it's a frontier. Not a lot of those left. Not that you can reach on my pension anyway. Any family? A niece on Earth. We didn't talk after my sister passed. It's a shame we drift apart like that. Yes, well, we stay out of people's mm -hmm. grief. My father, your sister. Sounds like we've both lost a lot. We stay out of people's grief, Pathfinder. What is that? Stay out of people's grief? You've said it before. Shit, that's right. Wow. You didn't have the block leader death talk. The thing is, you and your father, not unique, just recent. Every initiative species, except maybe Asari and Krogan, went into cryo with friends and family and woke up knowing they were all dead. Everything we build begins with that. The unsaid start to the initiative. So yeah, we stay out of people's grief. No, uh, me... How do you keep it from just spilling out? I let it, and my people stay out of it when I do, and I stay out of theirs. What's that old saying? Children with dead parents think everything is possible and nothing is safe? That seems like it fits anyone in the initiative, or maybe everyone. Uh, okay, I've never heard that saying. That's odd. I would think they wouldn't want to just ignore it, you know? What can you say about the Padromos block? Exacting bunch, as the science types always are. We'll eventually allow the staking of claims for groups with enough startup resources. Not quite gold rush, not quite land grants. Honored to lead them for as long as they need me. They need a guy like you to keep them grounded. Any insights about the people running the show from the Nexus? I only work with Addison. She's by I the love that blue, by the way, the guy. You look happened. good. That's to her credit. And the others? I only work with Addison. So your job doesn't require the others, or do you intentionally avoid them? The I'm very nosy. Smart enough to limit the obstacles between its people and jobs that need doing. Outposts deal with Addison. She deals with the others, and I don't envy her. Hmm. Just looking for a status report. Informal, of course. We're trading with the Teon now. Christmas is a good man. Eee. Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> we'll talk another time. Oh, and Pathfinder, what I said about grief, every pirate we brought to this cluster woke up with the same reality you did. Maybe think about that when shooting doesn't have to start. Okay, I, I will. Sorry, friend, but... Ah, Pathfinder! It's a... That's it's, a new one. It's a Usually 90. Get one finally showed. Are you kidding? Everyone knows you. You're why we're here, and I sure am. Here, Danny Messier, 
Couldn't wait to be deployed, but I thought the shuttle would take a little longer. Hoped, actually. Pathfinder, what do I do? A whole world is too much potential. Hmm. Well, what are you? I don't know what he is. Uh... He's a tech specialist. So... He's not a biologist or a soldier. Maybe he can... We need people studying the tech that saved this world. Right. Right, the remnant. Yeah, I can get up close and really dig in. Great day to be alive, Pathfinder. To have purpose. Indeed, my boy. Indeed. What's over here? They really have done well. What's the water like? Is it? I think it's really deep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, boys. My bad. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I have not seen... If I gotta see a kid in this game, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Everything stripped to the landing pad, especially from off-world rather than sealed nice and supplies, must go through quarantine procedures via confined observation, spot testing, bacteriological scans, or radioactive sterilization. We are a new presence on EOS, and everything added to the EOS system will have an effect down the line. Our job is to make sure it's a beneficial one, and strong quarantine purchases will really help us out. Hangley Abrams, addendum, if anyone tries to tell me or Hangley that your shipment's a special case and you don't need to bother, you'll be running quarantine twice. Woo! Radiation alert for shuttle pilots. That vault doohickey might be clearing the atmosphere, but we've still got pockets of high radiation and bad weather. Zones 10 through 12 are still smoking hot, but zone 8 is showing a drop. Watch your shuttle's radiation shield absorption. They can take up to 190, blah, 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 safely. Anything more, you need to head back for a refit. And remember that if you're carrying power cells or radiological equipment, those can throw your readings off. Make sure you're as safe as you think. Yay. Oh, so this is like a shuttle liftoff station. I like it. Oh, there's something over here. It looks like a like a like a like a radio type thing. Like a signal booster, maybe. And look, there's something on it. Like a little marker perhaps. Standing like right on it. Is it in this one? Thanks. Ah. Please help. This is the only way I can get the word out before someone gets killed. My work crew, they keep talking about that remnant tech. They think the initiative's lying about how dangerous it is that a couple of electrodes in the right place could get the remnant to work for them instead. I, they tried before and I helped out in medbay when those remnant observers carved up Barty. But Jennings says that we could live like kings if we had an army of remnant bots working and fighting for us. He's taking the whole crew to help him this time. I have to go with him. Maybe I can talk Jennings out of it. But if I can't, someone should know why we didn't come back. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that was that was that was just too beautiful. I dare ya. Wait, what? Oh right. Um right, yeah, oh thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um can I do that right now? I don't think I can. I can't switch out right now. 
You see that though? I, I switched to N7 armor really quick for a second. Quick! Oh, keep go, 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 go. Gotta switch out for Korra. I forgot that that was here. Nah, you guys are probably like, why aren't you bringing Korra? Wait, no. Oh, God, can I? Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Forward stations. Forward stations. Where am I forward station at? Zoom. Where's the forward station? Uh, there's still one here. I, okay, like I still, I landed like right next to it. Oh, so the forward station is the little outpost thing now. Okay, 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 okay. You load out. I, Drac is my spirit animal, so he'll be coming with us. Okay, you ready, Cora? You gonna say anything? Like, look how different it is from when we were last here. Oh, hey, there's a huge radio tower right there. Look at this. Shuttles coming and going. Oh, there's another big radio tower. Man. Walk outside every day and see something like this would be really cool. Ooh, look at the underside of my ship. It's so big. Like I feel like I'm I feel like I'm 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 walking next to a space orca. That's what my ship is. She's a space orca. She's beautiful. Let's see, they were in this next one. And how does that purify water? Like, riddle me that. There's probably an explanation in my codex somewhere that I haven't read. Armed and armored. Good for you. I could have used that ordinance a few weeks ago. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. Lieutenant Harper. We're looking for the Asari Ark. So am I. Watching the skies every day, praying they survived the cat. Mm. The evidence pointed to the cat being involved. The way pain is involved when you get burned. What happened? The Ket chased our Ark across the cluster. But these weren't their regular soldiers. They were hunters. Elite killers. Being hunted by an elite anything isn't fun. What were they yeah. after? I don't know. I'm a junior. I just do what they tell me. A bridge officer, Sarissa something, gave the evacuation order. Hundreds of people, all trying to flee. It, it was... Where could we look for the Ark? We lost track. But they launched a ship to help evacuees. And her crew would know. You'd have to find her. Follow the transponder, maybe. Our Tempest is designed to find needles in haystacks. We'll handle this. The ship's called the Paraphona. I'll give you her transponder codes and last flight plan. Thank you. It's good to see the cat aren't the only ones winning. Are there any more Asari or just uh, just you? Hmm. I'm not gonna find the Asari arc first. I gotta find my Gatorians. Um, but I do. Oh, what's this? Oh, is that and right there? Nope. Come on. It's not precise enough. Oh my gosh. I hate you. No. I could do that, but I'm not going to. Oh, is it two of them? Okay. This is why I never get anything done in this game. Let's see, make sure. Wait. So what is over here? Is it behind it somewhere? Or on top of it? Do I have to go on top of it? What is this one in particular? Uh 
Oh my gosh, it won't let me select it. Because I'm on it. Oh, it's to, that is just the research station. Well, what's this? Tell me what it is. Oh my gosh, do our wings go up? Our wings go up. Look at that. When we land, I did not quite realize. Seriously, it's a giant space orca. I'm in love. Oh, so this is that terminal that I, there was nothing on. And then, what is this? Don't mind me, my, uh, hi, what? Did not mean to do anything weird, don't worry about it. All right, this is the med bay thing. Oh, hey. You have ridiculous hair. You haven't got a fuel cell, have you? The quartermaster says there's plenty, but she would. Wait. Oh, shit. You're the Pathfinder. Sorry, no one said VIPs were coming by. I'm just Ryder. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Uh, I'm Fox, chief engineer at your service. What do you do here? My team gets things going. Water, power, communications, everything a civilization needs. Well, not laws or a constitution, <laughs> but it's easier to concentrate on those when you got a flushing toilet. <laughs> what are the other outpost staff like? Like Connor, you mean? She's pretty fun when you get to know her. Just don't get to know her over a poker game. Trust <laughs> me. Okay. What do you think about your new home? We've had time to run full mining surveys, and it's more promising than we thought. Give us a few years, the right facilities, and EOS might be supplying a bunch of colonies. Wouldn't that be a great turnaround? What brought you all the way to Andromeda? There's a colony back home you've never heard of. Viridus. It failed. Hard. I grew up there watching things fall apart. When I left, I got into infrastructure, civil engineering boring stuff unless you've ever lived without it. I wanted to do Viridus hmm. right, I guess. And the initiative was my best I chance. I like that. That's cool. Um, thanks for asking. You're welcome, dude. Bye, Fox. Bye. Stay safe out there. Hmm. Okay. I don't remember what the name was. Okay. Gives us the reason to go over here. I didn't realize I'd need to run around and check with everybody who is here. Or if I did, I didn't care. I just, I just wanna, what, can I? Come on, let me jump up. Yes, yes. Hmm? Me? Alright, I just felt something vibrate. Yeah, oh, oh, uh, scan this? Okay. This definitely treated wounds caused by a remnant. That data pad said the work crew tried to control them. Sand particles were removed from the wound. Analyzing. Comparing with locations from the work roster, it's likely the injury occurred near a monolith. Let's go. Okay. August said you might swing by. Ryder, yes? Dr. Ramirez, run the clinic here on EOS. Much better than life as an Alliance medic. Oh, good to meet you. I guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? 
Why did you join the Andromeda Initiative? I served in the Alliance as a medic, but they say I saw one Batarian slave raid too many. I knew August. You're right. scanning me. And when he signed on to the initiative, suggested I consider it. This seems like I think a you're not meaning to. Guy. I think I'm just I'm just happening to be in the way of where you would be scanning, but I'm not sure because you are directly scanning me. What's the latest from weird. your clinic? Usual checkups for first thing colonies. Just a few cases of dehydration and some blindness. Nothing serious. What do you think of Bradley? I've known him for years. He was the squad medic when he was injured, and we kept in touch after his discharge. He's a smart fellow, a good lieutenant, but a better mayor. And it bugs him when I call him August. So I restrict myself <laughs> to uh, two or three times a day. <laughs> okay. What's it like living in our first successful outpost? More rewarding than I thought. My patients are the neighbors I'm I see super every suspicious. Day. I'm super suspicious of your scanning. Diseases, sure. But I know exactly who I'm staying vigilant for. Oh, so it's a little more personal than rather just being, you know, shunted from like Alliance Squad to Alliance Squad, you know? I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. You know, man, I'll do my best. Jeez. I find it troubling that you think I could be swayed from my duty by an offer of credits. Uh, I understand Victor Carson is a friend of yours, but that's hardly an adequate reason to release him from cryostasis and send him to Prodromos. Beyond that, from what I need to hear, you two are a disaster waiting to happen. I know all about the prank you and Mr. Carson pulled on Everett before the journey to Helios. Victor Carson will be released from stasis when I see fit and assigned to an outpost that best suits his skill set. And if I hear you've gone over my head and spoken to Addison about this, you'll have me to answer to. Case notes, uh, acute insomnia and claustrophobia. On examination, no, un no organic underlying cause. Apparently suffered a mechanical failure when coming out of stasis that locked her in the pod. Clearly a psychosomatic case, but symptoms are acute. Prescribed tetravoxine and VR post stasis therapy. Next appointment in two weeks. Personal notes, I'm seeing several cases of post-stasis anxiety and other related conditions. The techies solved a lot of the physical effects of long-term stasis, but we're clearly seeing the psychological effects run a lot deeper. People just aren't designed to be turned off for too long. Should talk with Hanley about long-term research initiative. We're first for a lot of things. Multiple leg fractures. Patient lost his grip and fell during maintenance work on the roof. Jump jets fell to fire. Compound fractures to the right leg. Severe sprains to left ankle. Patient struggle allergic reaction and aesthetic. So I borrowed August and a couple of engineers to hold the patient down while I set the legs. Application of foam cast and appropriate analgesia followed. Personal notes, noisy day, but hopefully an object lesson to the rest of the outpost about jump jet maintenance. Patient is healing nicely, should be falling off roofs again in a week. Must be nice to be in the future. Gunshot injuries to both legs, severe neurospinal distress. Shoot. Patient brought in on a Travius by his crew reports say he was tracking down a mineral vein and ran into a group of hidden cat. Killed one and gunned down by the others. Um, they, shot to they shot to disable, not to kill, then slapped some sort of paralyzing patch on his back. Patient's crew found him and dealt with the cat before they dragged him home. Removed shrapnel and cleaned the injuries. Removed the spinal patch with a standard ultrasound pulse. Another cat toy. Fox can dispose of it. Personal notes. Took longer than usual to write this up. Old memory. Stiff drink is helping. Should have let the nurse clean him up, but better to face the headwind. When I saw the Batarians do... What I saw the Batarians do on Vitarius Mindor, it's over. Let it be over. Yeah. That was, uh, my, my renegade shepherd is from Mindor. And not many people survived that, and the ones that did were not in good shape. You already bothered me. It's okay, guy. <laughs> 